It seems that Neolithic artists lost the ability to depict nature as we know it. Accurate representations of nature are present, but the dominant style produced a carnival of ghostly creatures and absurd forms never seen in our world. How did this tendency arise? Not in one land alone, but on every habitable continent. Absurd, yes, but what provoked the distinctive patterns? A stick man with no head, just a duck or other bird on his shoulders? Hundreds of variations on this theme occur in the American Southwest. But the pattern doesn't end there. Notice the twin dots on the two sides of these crudely crafted stick figures. One instance alone is just a curiosity. But widespread patterns must have an explanation. And other details only accent the irrationality. Recently, an answer to these mysteries came from outside traditional archaeology, from plasma science and laboratory experiments with electric discharge. Plasma scientist Anthony Peratt of Los Alamos Laboratories has shown that these stick forms recorded electrical events in the sky. Something like the northern lights we see today, but a thousand times more energetic. And he matches the rock art forms precisely to the configurations taken by electric discharge in the laboratory. The rock art images are explained as sheets of intense electric current in the evolution of a plasma discharge. The central column you see in this stylized representation is the axis of the discharge. Wrapped around the axis is a torus or donut-like tubular sheet of charged particles. The observer sees through the transparent formation, champagne glass above, squashed bell shape below, so the plasma density is greatest at the limbs. Drawn in two dimensions, the formation matches the stick man carved globally on stone by the thousands. The two dots under the stick man's arms are the exceedingly bright, high energy radiation called synchrotron radiation, emitted from the center of the torus. The current sheets continually warp as the electric discharge progresses, and this form is not uncommon. A two-dimensional representation might look like this. Pratt's work has shown that the stick man, the duck-headed version of the American Southwest, and variations from Hawaii to Saudi Arabia, is a plasma discharge formation, a subject on which he is an acknowledged world expert. Peratt's investigation is entirely independent from our own. Thousands of rock art images have enabled a supercomputer to identify formations as seen from different positions on Earth. The fit that he has documented cannot be accidental.